Hey guys, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name's Will. And my name is Kevin, and today we have a very special thing for you. Go ahead, Will. You wanted to take this. I so. did. We're doing a little backwards. Um, we. I just wanted to say before we get into the meat of this episode, uh, we are doing this as kind of a two-pronged reason, two-pronged whatever video. We wanted to talk about one of our favorite cards. Yeah. Definitely one of my favorite cards. And also we wanted to uh, plug our website a little bit. Hey. Throw it in there. Uh, we do have a website. We write articles about magic. Kevin does mostly. Uh, <laughs> but there are articles about magic on the website. <laughs> Um, yes insightful things things we have talked about some things we haven't talked about um so if you're more of a i want a reference and i don't want to have to listen to you you two dingleberries pratter on for an yeah. hour <laughs> you can go read our articles um there's good stuff there uh so just wanted to get that out of the way yeah absolutely guys that. um we do we're trying to sort of get back into our website because for a while we started writing on it and then we sort of took some time off due to just busy schedules and things like that but we're oh, trying to get back there. into it oh, and uh write a little bit more and we thought we'd release this series as sort of a yeah. plug for that as well as just hopefully getting some more content out there for you guys so right. without further ado will what are we talking about today Kevin, my man, we got a card spotlight. Yes. A a, a card spotlight. A card spotlight. <laughs> We're talking about uh, <laughs> probably one of the best cards in Magic, in my opinion, and that is Thoughtseize. Yes, Thoughtseize. Guys, so if you don't know what Thoughtseize is, why are you here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what Thoughtseize is, it is a sorcery for one black mm. uh, that basically says pay two life, re look at target player's hand, target mm -hmm. opponent's mm -hmm. hand, uh, is it target opponent or target player? It's target player. Dude. It is target player. I believe. Yeah, that's why I asked. Target player's hand, so you can reveal your own. Uh, choose a card from it, mm -hmm. a non-land uh, card, and yep. discard it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so for one mana, you get to basically pick and choose out of an opponent's hand or your hand what you'd like to discard. So that's solid. So let's break down the physicality of the card itself. Yep. We'll talk about some of its elements. So, Kevin, you said one mana. One mana. When can you not cast this card? Uh, if you have no lands in your deck. True. <laughs> True. No lands, you tapped out, you just don't have any mana. Yeah. Turn zero, you cannot cast this card. You Also, it's notable because, and we're, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, because it is a sorcerer, you cannot cast it during your opponent's turn. True. True. Um, Which would be yeah. broken if you could. Let's God. be honest. If Thoughtseize was instant speed, really, if there was any, <laughs> I don't think there's a reveal target player's hand, take a thing of instant speed. I hope not. There shouldn't be. If there is, it needs to be like super expensive because yeah, I was gonna say that's it could, insane. It could be three mana and have like a card that costs like four. The, or more. Yeah, yeah, some, some sp specification that needs to be tied to it. Right. But right. other than that, yeah. So thought sees sorcery yeah. speed one mana. You can play it ideally from turn one on in your game. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. And really, turn one thought sees. Is just the best, right? It's Explain so how much you love this because so, it is something that you're a little in love with. Absolutely. Turn one Thoughtseize is delicious. Uh, you get so much advantage for one mana. One mana that if you've watched some of our other podcast episodes or listened to them, we talk about having uh, sinks for your mana at each turn, mm. casting it efficiently. Uh, so you want a good turn one play. And removing something on turn one <laughs> doesn't happen often and you yeah. get to do it before your opponent has access to it right which is solid not only that not only do you cast a thing you just pitch that pay to life to remove one of their uh one of their cards from their pieces uh, you also get information and information is probably the most valuable hidden quote-unquote resource in magic not yes. a lot of players think about the value of information knowing your opponents or at least having a a, a feeling for their game plan that puts you leagues ahead yeah because now you have every piece of the puzzle except for that next card you draw mm -hmm. that they draw technically and they have no information and what's so great about this is because you get to see their full hand you get to make your decision based off of everything in their hands so for instance mm -hmm. if it is turn one and they have say a one or two drop and then the only other things they have in their hand are six drops and a couple lands you're probably going to want to take the early drop because that means they have no plays yep. based on what's in their hand. Admittedly, like you mentioned, they can draw into something, but based on the info in their hand, they have absolutely no plays yeah. for the next like four or five turns. Yeah. So to be able to strip somebody's turn or early turn play is just mm -hmm. one of the best feelings in the world. In addition on sort of the other end of things, being able in the late game to strip away a bomb 
or strip away, especially a combo piece. Oh God. Is one of the best things in the world. Thought sees the thought sees effect, I should say, is one of the best effects against a combo deck because generally speaking, they only run a few win cons, right? And it's yeah. their combo piece card. So if you get to strip that away and then in tandem play like a surgical extraction and remove it. Uh, you're in pretty good shape. So yeah. it's it's just a really, really solid play. It's a very powerful effect. And Thought Seize being the namesake card for that effect, just because it is any card almost. Mm-hmm. I mean, any non-land card yeah. you get to strip away, and that is so powerful. Yeah, Thought Seize like, is, is the strongest, God, I think. It's that, right? Yeah, yeah. You get I Thought think Seize, Inquisition. Duress. Yeah, um, cards like that. Duress is probably the weakest, but... Although, it, pretty good still. No, um, <laughs> uh, it's... it's Great. And there's plenty of others. Um, I know there's yeah. one that hits like only creatures or planeswalkers and stuff yeah. like that. And there's um, one in standard right now, or yeah. it might have just phased out, but yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this effect is something we see repeated in different variants uh, on multiple cards, and really, it's just it, none of them compete with Thoughtseize, right? Not really. Thoughtseize because it takes anything <laughs> except for lands is just so nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you talk about it in the article a little bit. It's got some utility in aggressive decks that play with less life. Mm-hmm. Um, typically, Death Shadow is the one we think of. Yeah. Um, still a top tier deck in modern right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Grex- um, Grixis Death Shadow is fantastic. Sorry, I had a, like a... Did they ban Death Shadow? Right? No, they did not. <laughs> I don't know why. I Nor should that. they. And if you disagree, that sucks. Because I mean Fatal Push. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, no, you're exactly right, 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 though. It's at a premium in the Death Shadow deck because, first of all, normally losing two life isn't ideal in a Death Shadow deck. That's exactly yeah, what, you kind of what you want. So, like, mm-hmm. not only do you get the Thought Seize effect, but you also lower your life total, which in that deck means your Death Shadow is going to be two points bigger, right? Like, yeah. that's the idea. And so it is at a premium in that deck. In addition, though, uh, you do see it in really any kind of control, black control deck. Right. Um, and maybe it's not as a four of, but generally between the main and the sideboard, there are four copies somewhere. Yeah. Um, because it's so good against so many things. And I'd argue there should be. Yeah, uh, I mean. <laughs> what, uh, the great avenue in control decks with Thossies that I always come back to is that professional players and very good players, uh, the more and more you play, will start to bluff things more often or try to trick you with things baiting is the, yeah. is the term we use so they'll play something that seems kind of scary oh no i'll counter that and then they'll play something that's actually scary yes <laughs> uh, that can beat you yeah um or they'll wipe your board for something even mm. though you don't really have a board to control deck but i digress uh if you know that oh man they've got uh a glory bringer in hand and then they also have that's another good one i'm, I'm sticking to standards because i know i don't you know i don't know standard I know. Thoughtseize isn't in standard anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't know, I'm just thinking. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking. But, for example, uh, they got a Glorybringer, and they have a uh, Hazard the Fervent. <laughs> sure. Like, which one am I more worried of? Which one a little scarier? Yeah, yeah. Hazard. Hazard is the scarier one, for sure. Because it throws things at you. Yeah. Beow. So, take Hazard. <laughs> but, yeah, my, my point to say is you'll know what the better choice is. What yeah. to take yeah. and then what to counter. You really get to do both. Yep. Um... Yeah. And that's where information is so yeah. viable. So, yeah. Um, yeah, basically, Thought sees one of the best turn one plays you can imagine. Not only turn one plays, but just plays. It's just such a powerful card. Yeah. Um, it's Maybe, good throughout yeah. most aspects of the game. I say most because generally really late game, it's just not at its best. True. Because they're only down to a couple cards. You're more likely to miss off of a Thought Seize, which doesn't normally happen, but you can. Yeah. And then also, you're not gaining that information that you get off of a turn one Thought Seize because they're going to have less cards. So um, ideally, in the earlier stages of the game, it is at its best. Mm -hmm. However, it can be good no matter what. Mm -hmm. And the the last point that I want to make is that because it says target player, not target opponent, you can use it to leverage your own hand. Yes. So, for instance, just as an example, say you have a Gurmag Angler in hand. Okay. And you're a little off on your mana. You don't have quite enough. You were going to delve a few cards, but you're one or two cards short. Sure. Probably two. You have to be two cards to even consider doing this to your own hand. But say you're two cards short in your del in your graveyard. Sure. Why not thought seize yourself for a dead card in your hand? You get those two cards in your graveyard, and then you get to play 
Gurmag Angler, yeah. right? Like it's stuff like that that just sort of leverages thought sees in such a unique way. And yeah, I think it's very flexible. Was it uh, who was it? Uh, Yuya Watanabe. Yes. That I believe thought seed himself thought seized himself to turn on his death. Rate. Yeah, to turn on his death rate shaman. Oh my gosh, that's good. Yeah. And he was way to be there. He's the first <laughs> player I've ever seen do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've not done it because I'm not that brave. No, uh, it's it's a genius play. It's a it genius, genius card. Play, yeah. Perfect. I, I love the design. Yeah. Um, there's not enough good things can be said. Yeah. Are there cons to Thoughtseize? There are some. Mm -hmm. Talk about two life. Not every deck wants to pay two life. Talk yeah. About sorcerer speed. Uh, I talk about it's worse than the light. Get. Who cares? It's a Thoughtseize, guys. Yeah, um, it's a fantastic card. Stuff. Just one that we thought we'd shed some light on. It's mm -hmm. something that's been talked about around YouTube already, so I would recommend going and checking out more and more videos about Thought Seas. If you don't have that's any, sweet. pick them up. They're like 20 bucks. They're a little expensive, but they're really good. Yeah. So it's worthwhile, uh, especially if you're trying to play competitively. You will need Thought Seas if probably, you're playing yeah, black. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it. We just wanted to share this new little uh, mini episode with you with Card Spotlights. Okay. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe, and let us know that you would like to see more of these. Yeah. Uh, if we get enough support, obviously, we'd like to continue this, and I think we'll try it for a little while anyway, Definitely. see how things go. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, that's about it. Yeah. If you have a card you want the spotlight shone, yeah. shined on, shown on. Shown on. Is it shown? Sure. Shonies. Pancakes. Hey. <laughs> What's that spotlight card in Magic that takes away Hexproof? Spotlight? I don't know. I have no clue. Nah, I don't remember. Anyway, yeah. Nah, never mind. <laughs> if it's a card that you want to hear us talk about, discuss, maybe that we, you think we might not know about, that would be interesting, leave a comment. Yes, comment it down below, and we will uh, do it for the next card spotlight episode. We'll I think it. we'll do it for the. What's moment. our plan? Are we trying to release these once a week? Is that the plan? Yeah. Is that what we're shooting for? At least. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. So uh, be on the lookout for these. We're going to try and do them every week. It'll be the same day every week, either Tuesday or Thursday. I don't know exactly when this is We don't know up. when we're releasing this. This is just a thing that we're doing. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Guys, Take we hope move. you enjoyed this card spotlight. Again, feel free to comment down below. And we will see you in the next card spotlight a week from whenever this releases. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>